welcome to another episode of Mia spent way too much money on stuff that she doesn't necessarily need but loves most of it yes okay so uh, I've been uh, collecting and hoarding some stuff and I realized it's too much to put in one with it video yeah it would be like 40 minutes long so I decided to stretch it out and you'll see the rest in my maybe hair care videos, skincare videos, something like that. And hopefully and I want to get this done just by showing you what I bought from my makeups. Makeups, I have two humongous bags here and oh, I'm just gonna show you that. So okay. Um, my friend Sarah and I, she has a vlog and she helped me with my vlog as well and my YouTube channel and everything. Uh, she's Miss Sarah Spy and I'll link her vlog and her channel down below. But we had a vloggers exchange thing going on and we I'm also gonna do a blog post, we both are, but I'm not sure when that's gonna go up. So, I just wanted to share some of the stuff because it's makeup and it's new, so... Oh, it's a haul. Ooh. That also justifies that I did not spend that much money. No, it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, let's just get started. First thing I have is this. And this is the cutest makeup bag. But what I love about this is, you know, if you ever been like surfing or diving, deep diving, uh, or being in the water while it was really cold and you needed a new pen, because it was cold. The thing you wear if you're going into the water and it's not quite warm. This is the material, basically. This is so practical if you're like me and you have a lot of things in your bag and you don't want to break your mirror or like some fragile if you put earrings inside and you don't want to lose them it's so cool and i love that this kind of shines like a sign they make up and yeah i keep all of my essentials with me here and this also fits in most of my humongous bags so yeah and if you want to see what's in my bag video tell me well i'd love to do it anyway so let's see what's inside. I have a couple of things inside, other things I have scattered around here. First thing that I asked actually Sarah to send me was a Tanya Burr lip gloss. This, uh, this one is called Eye Candy. It's like really natural, if you don't have anything on you can just put this in. It's a bit of shimmer and this smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, so well, this is an exclusive collection, and oh no, buy eye candy. What's it called? I I do not know. Well, it's really pretty pink, and it's gorgeous, and it's quite natural. You can I do layer it over some other stuff, but it's amazing and it's hydrating. And I love it. next thing we have is well, next two things. I have on today and it's the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner and the lipstick and basically the same shade. This is 100, oh, 170 Alarm. Um, I have this on today and this smells even better than the lip gloss. I cannot, oh my god, usually lipsticks the Chanel ones smell really good to me, otherwise they don't have a scent or I don't like it particularly, but this is amazing. It stays on all the time, it's super hydrating and um, I'm a really a fan of the color. It comes off like a lot more red on the camera, but it's actually not. It's this gorgeous orangey red that I am obsessed with, so, and I've been looking for I wanted to, you know, start liming my lips because I've heard that that makes the lip lipstick stay much longer. And Sarah just sent me one, so I was just really happy to try it and I've had it on today and it really does make a difference. So you, you might want to try this. And I mean, I've heard so many good things about rainbow lipsticks and stuff, but it's true. I've dropped it. It's okay, it's not in a pencil form. It's in a stick that you like turn the bottom around and it comes out. 
Okay, um, this video will be 40 minutes long if I do not continue, but I love both of those things, so yeah. Next thing, what is up with me today is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I also sent, asked her to send me this. It's in the palest shade, I believe. It's in zero... No. In zero ten ivory, and I've heard a lot of good things about this um, from like Zoe's channel and Zoella and so many YouTubers use this, and I do think it's really good. Um, I have used it a couple of times, and I think the coverage is great. And there's a lot of shades. I was then looking through ASOS to see what they have, and there's a lot of shades of this, so it's good. You can probably find one that will suit you, hopefully, if you want it. Next thing that Sarah sent me is this. It's the Revolution Palette. Makeup Revolution London. I've used it one or two times, and I like it. It's, the colors are ridiculously pigmented, I am telling you. Oh, open. It comes with a little brush. It's like the brush. I used, I used brushes like this when I started with makeup. Um... But yes, it has like a wide, wide variety of colors. Uh, some wait, uh, out of two, four, twelve colors. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are shimmery. So um, it's really cool. It has like green and purple and stuff that you maybe wouldn't find if you had a, like a neutral palette. So I think it's really useful and I think it's really cool because it's really pigmented and I do believe it stays on for quite some time. Next thing, two things she sent me were, um, I'm going to show it together because they're both face masks and these are I believe both from Superdrug. This one is Tea Tree, I've actually already used this one um, and I really liked it. Uh, it comes out as mint green so you look like, you know, from the movies when like those glamorous ladies with like their skin masks on and some cucumbers and stuff like that but uh, this was really cool and it's deep cleansing mud mask and I haven't used this one yet but I will probably soon it's a super fruit exfoliating mask so very interested and have lots of berries in it continuing with some stuff I bought because I'm not sure in this humongous pile of stuff is if there's anything else and I may have forgotten quite a few things that she sent me, so I'm sorry, Sarah. It'll be in the blog post, so don't worry about that. Um, next thing I ordered was the Real Techniques Your Base Flawless Expert Face Brush, and there was a lot. There's a lot of huff and puff around. I don't know if that's the term around Real Techniques brush brushes brushes, and it's real because the hype. The hype, a lot of hype. I love this brush. I adore this brush. I like that it, ha it has a handle like with the rubber on it so you can easily grip it. I like the color of it. Uh, it's coppery and I like how it feels on my skin. It's good for blending. I use it for my foundation and, and sometimes for my concealer and I adore it. More stuff that I've got continuing with the face masks theme. I got a peel-off mask, a sensitive skin mask, and an anti-spot mask. And I haven't tried any of these yet, but I'm really interested. I like this one, supposedly the peel-off mask. It's like you put it on, you wait, and then you peel the whole thing off. It's not like a sheet mask, but um, it should dry like that. It's I, I'm very interested in this. More stuff that I got! A thing that I, you will most definitely see when, in my favorites if I do it. It's the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup. Mattifying Long Lasting Oil Free. I adore this. This is amazing. I've worn it just a couple of times. I've worn it in my last video and I'm wearing it in this one. I'm probably gonna wear it in the last whatever I shoot. Um, this is awesome. This is amazing. I just cannot say, like, when you pull it out, it just looks like there's not even any color on that. It covers your pores. It conceals everything. Just, I, I, I am in love with this foundation, okay? I've been looking for one because the Bourjois 
CC cream one, which I wore last summer, was, I thought, really amazing and I bought it again and I think it comes off orange on me and it didn't come off well and um, yeah, but this is amazing and it is 30 milliliters so you can take it on the plane. More stuff for your face! Uh, I got a Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. Okay, if you haven't noticed, I am obsessed with Catrice. Really, I am. Okay, I didn't use powder ever because, I mean, when I was little and when I had ballet recitals, recitals. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know which is correct. Uh, this is translucent powder, which has been a big hit recently. A big hit recently, <laughs> which has been a big hit recently because I've heard so many people talk about it, and I was like, okay, I should try it because apparently it doesn't dry out your skin. My skin gets really dry really fast, so it's white, and uh, I adore it. It doesn't make it makes your it definitely makes your makeup stay on longer. It doesn't make it like melt away and I got this brush from Miller the body and soul their original collection and you just pat it in do not wipe it don't do that because um then you're just wiping everything away press it press and for pressing I also got this I'm sorry if it's a bit dirty I used it for the first time like a couple of days ago so you just also will press your loose powder in I adore this and I adore this brush because it's really fluffy. More face stuff! I have... Huh? Well, you know where this is from? Catrice! Uh, and I have invested in a new blush. If you remember, if you've seen my fe February favorites, I had my first blush, bought my first blush then. <laughs> and it was this one, also from Catrice. And it's... This one is like... Look at the... This one is more orange corally and this one is pink dark pink. It's almost like cherry pink. Can cherries be pink? I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is the Catrice Cosmetic Illuminating Blush and it has three shades. I mean, it, it has three lines with two shades. In the middle it's light pink and then it's darker on the sides. And um, you must be careful with this because it is ridiculously pigmented. I mean, it their cosmetics are really cheap and affordable, but they are amazing. I mean, this has so much pigment on it that um, yesterday and whenever I used it, <laughs> I had to wipe it off. Today is the first day that I didn't wipe it off, so I have learned to control it. And But if you're scared of using too much blush, definitely try this first because I yeah. am. And I just think it's amazing. More stuff! I got this from Drogery Mark and it's the Belia Soft and Clear Anti Mutasa Face Stripes. And these are the stripes you put on your nose and on your, like, between your eyebrows, um, between your eyes, and on your chin. And I'm not sure, yeah, I've tried this one because it's open and this one isn't. So, uh, yeah, I think they're really, I love stuff like this. So. And I think Garnier or Nivea also do it, or Nivea. And I know that Essence also does this, so uh, check out which ones you like most. Drop them on thing. Face stuff! Okay, there's been a lot of hype around this product as well. Who would have guessed? And this one is like one of the only ones that if there's a hype around it, I can actually get it in the store because some things are just in the UK or just in America and you can order it online, but I don't do that every day. <laughs> it's the Maybelline Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. I must say this is probably the, my favorite mascara I've used because I don't go around buying mascaras all the time. Uh, speaking of, my mom got me another one of my... Uh, Max Factor Masterpiece Glamorous Extensions 3 in one, 1 Volumizing Mascara, which is like my second favorite thing. I adore this. But, uh, so, two mascaras in this video. This is amazing. I I don't think I've told you that my lashes grow straight down. Yeah. 
Uh, but this one makes them like stay a bit more up. I did buy another thing that I'm gonna show you right after this for my lashes because the clippy things, the eyelash curler, does not work for me. It works for 10 minutes and then they go like mm. So yeah, this is amazing. I love it and I would highly recommend this but I think that every YouTuber out there already has it. The thing I was talking about is this. This is the Panasonic, um, I'm gonna take the cap off but I'm not gonna put it any closer because it's ridiculously dirty because I've just used it. I didn't think that something like this existed but I searched for it and I saw it on eBay and, and on Amazon. I ordered it, I'm in love with it, I hope it doesn't damage my eyes. Basically you turn it on here with a button and then on the other side you have like a little indicator. You cannot really see it but when it gets hot it turns from blue to first to purple and then to pink and uh, you see when it's like baby pink it's really hot it's the hottest you can get because you only have one setting like you it's either on or off you cannot like adjust your heat settings like a straightener or a curler but it's amazing it does make my lashes stand up and because none of the things I've used have made that possible <laughs> uh, and I adore it and I use it every time I wear mascara except if I'm in a really horrendous hurry more eye stuff and I've got these two things I haven't tried this yet and I have worn this a couple of times and this one is the huh, Catrice Satin Stay Cream to Powder Eyeshadow li and Liner um, basically this is like it comes with a brush applicator and um, which color is this? Uh, number 020 Beja Vu and haha <laughs> nice pun. Um, basically if you don't have really oily eyelids uh, and your makeup just doesn't melt off of there you could use this as a base, you could only use this and maybe a bit of contour in your inner outer corners or you could just only use this or not use anything because you're beautiful either way. But um, I think this will be cool and also for traveling because it's convenient. But I've only used this like twice or three times. And it has a lot of shimmer in it so beware of that. Uh, next thing I also think would be really convenient for traveling is the L'Oreal Paris... L'Oreal Paris... Paris? Uh, L'Oreal Paris... Um, Lumiere 500. I do tend to get in a French accent when I'm reading something in French. I've tried this in a store and then I went home and then the next time I went to the store I just bought it because pigmentation on this is amazing. I cannot show you now because you wouldn't see anything. But this one is gold. It's Pretty. I am obsessed with gold eyeshadow, that's all I wear. I mean, I wear gold eyeshadow and then I contour like my outer corners with darker browns and shimmery stuff, but... And this is not... It's not shimmery with like those big, big sparkles of glitter, but um, it has subtle shimmer in it, which is really beautiful. So you can also wear this on its own or like do a little bit of contouring and I think it will look amazing. Uh, I am planning on taking this on vacation with me. I mean like going anywhere, being on a plane, I mean not... Also you have to apply it on the plane, but um, like when you touch down or when you travel somewhere by a plane, this is like small, convenient to take with you and like maybe just another darker shade that you can also use for your eyebrows and contouring and I think you're good because that's that's great. The other thing that I've really been loving and got just recently, I've worn it two or three times, is this. Also from L'Oreal, it's the Super Liner Blockbuster and it's the uh, pen pen shaped eyeliner. I draw a line drew a line with this on my hand. I wasn't actually looking for it, so I had a difficult time deciding if I should buy it or not. But <laughs> I decided to went with it as well because I also think this is convenient for travel because it stays on because when I drew it on my hand it stayed there so um, it does come off very easily 
with like makeup remover or if you like rinse a bit with water and it's very easy if you're like a first time trying out eyeliner this is very easy to use love 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 two things that I don't buy really often nail polish and I've got two shades I have one today on today but it's already chipped not because I put it on today I put it on a couple of days ago so I think it's lasted really well uh, I pulled a bit of it off when I had like a band-aid on my finger so that's why it came off otherwise it's like slightly chipped I love it's also from L'Oreal I love L'Oreal's nail polishes and yeah this is a bright summery shade that I wanted to wear in the summer it's also perfect for like fall or something like that because it's a red and for Christmas, you can wear this all day long, like all, all day, all year long. Like spring, it reminds you of flowers and like poppies growing. And summer, it's like just a nice summery color. It's also, it doesn't come off as this, but it does look really good with the nails, the lipstick, because the lipstick is also orangey, but it's not showing in the, in this lighting. And then uh, in fall, it reminds you of warm colors and being snuggled up and in front of a fireplace. And in winter, it's all holiday esque. So great. Another one I got was the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy, and you would see this in my vlog that I haven't posted yet. <laughs> um, but uh, I love this as well. I have it on my toenails, but I cannot show you now because I have socks on. And it's the Color Plus Base. Bernie à ongle. Blood face. It's amazing because if you're lazy or if you don't wanna like buy a ton of nail polishes or stuff like that, you can use this and it's base plus top coat, but no, color plus base, but you would still need a top coat. It's amazing. <sighs> I have more stuff. Two lip glosses. And one was a gift from my friend and one was a gift actually from my friend's mum and another one was a gift from my mum. And one is L'Oreal 6 Hour Glam Shine. Lovely. The other one is the Max Factor does not have a name, I have a number and this one also. Oh no! The L'Oreal one is in 114 Tempting Pink. It's more red than pink. And it does not look as horrendously bright as it is. It looks like very, very shimmery, beware. And like neutral little flushed pink or red on your lips. So it's like, it's really practical. More stuff! I rambled for a long time. Because my camera automatically turns itself off of recording like every 10 minutes and it has done that twice. Next thing, the Nivea or Nivea or whatever you call it, hand cream. It's amazing. I use it by like before I go to sleep if I remember, and I also put it on my lips and I think it's good. So yeah, just just that. This, this that I've used that since I was baby. I mean, not. That that that, that does it. <laughs> that does it for the haul. I have. Oh, I have spoken a lot. Gang, back up. Okay, so. Actually, that was the end of the haul. No, actually not. I have another lipstick. Where is it? I remembered I also have this. And it's the, guess what, Catrice Ultimate Color 390 on the pink side of life. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, it's ridiculously pink. It's like matte, actually. Like, it's not shimmery. Oh my god, did I just put that on? Well, bear with me if I didn't. Um, I was just looking for a summery, also springish color. And this one is really cute. It's really vibrant. It does, I wear, I wore it in my previous video, but it wasn't as visible as it could be. It's really bright. So if you see a picture of me wearing a really bright thing, that's it. I love it and I just love the lipsticks. I still haven't done a post on them. Well, now I have so many that I kind of need to do a post. Okay, so that does it for the haul. Um, yeah, sorry this was ridiculously long. Sorry if I rambled too much. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my last few videos will be linked down below, which are the 25 facts about me and the ASOS Ombux 
unboxing, unboxing and um, just unbox, unboxing haul. Yeah, I'm out of shape and out of breath and yeah. Okay. Uh, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot. Subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, follow me on any of my social medias or on all of them, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> tell me if you do. And um, yeah, there, everything will be linked down below, uh, my links, and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, bye! Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her.